we are going to, in principle, make the most boring 60 symbols video because we're going to talk about watching paint dry. At a macroscopic level, watching paint dry is, as you know, an incredibly boring thing to do. At a microscopic level, I want to try and get across over the next few minutes that not only is it interesting, it can be fascinating. So we've got latex white paint. So what this is, is one micron sized, um, a thousandth of a millimeter sized spherical particles of polymer in water. So that's the simplest possible paint you can use. And for physicists, that's what we really like doing. We really like to throw away all the, 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 the difficult chemistry and really let's focus on what the, what the physics is here. So I'm going to take some of the paint and to make it, make it more straightforward and easy to see what's going on, I'm going to take this paint and what I've done is I've diluted it down slightly. I've added some just basically water. Increase the magnification. Now, you might be able to see these little things moving around. Those are the individual particles. Let's try and focus in. And you can see they're already collecting at the edge. We should be able to go even increase the magnification even more. So each one of these is one of those individual micron scale, um, micron diameter particles. And you can see that they're, they're moving across. You can see them moving around in the solution. And they're joining on here. They're aggregating at the edge. They're falling out of solution. And as we move this in and out of focus, we can see now there's our second layer building up at the edge. And you can see these little, they're joining. As the droplet dries, what's happening is that this, what we call the, 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 the wetting front or the, 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 the contact line between the solvent, the substrate and air, is moving. The droplets are drying. And so we're going to see some very interesting things happen. But it's moving as the droplet, basically the droplet's shrinking. And we're looking at that shrinking process. So that's moving in real time. And that's moving in real time. That's absolutely moving in real time. Yeah. And you'll see it starts to become pinned. Let's try and focus on that. Here's another pinning event where you can see and then it'll suddenly let go. And these pinning events are very, very important where the, the, the um, edge of the droplet wants to move back but sometimes there's an inhomogeneity or there's a piece of dirt or there's a defect at the surface which pins it and stops it moving. And sometimes that can, and in many cases, what stops it moving is when the, 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 the particles themselves pile up at the edge must point out that the colours we see here are false colours. These aren't actually the colours of the solution. It's the way we're doing the experiment. We're playing around with polarisation to improve the contrast. So these really aren't, aren't um, the, the colours aren't true colours as such. And in fact, you can map the colour that you see onto the thickness of the film. But this is it's exactly this type of process that um, stated, really the state of the art in nanoscience and some aspects of nanoscience is trying to exploit this part process with nanoparticles so that you can lay down regular lines um, of nanoparticles, much, much smaller particles than this on, on surfaces. When we have a droplet of the paint on the surface, as we have here, and when you're painting it on the wall, you get many, many, many thousands of droplets, and you'll have sort of thin films of, of, of particles and solvent. But the key thing here is, again, here's a nice de-wetting event, or a de-pinning event. You can see what's, what's happening here is it's piling up. Let me, sorry, Brady, to keep interrupting. So it almost looks organic. This is purely, it almost looks like it's living, I think, but it's, it's purely inorganic. It's just water and, and, and particles. But with fluid dynamics, it does remarkably interesting things. Let me, chase the, let me chase the front again. And this is a very, very small droplet. Again, more pinning events. In this case, it's leaving particles behind. You see the particles leaking out and being left behind? Oh, that's a really nice one. That's really nice. See them just dropping out, and you can see the, 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 the solvent thinning down. So in terms of painting, this is, this is the painting. This is, in essence, the painting process, where you want to, you have particles in a solvent. You want to get those particles. You spread them on the wall, and then you want the solvent to evaporate. And here we go. So, Oh, it's moving around. That's very interesting. So you can see here, now it's stopped. We've got a lot of solvent motion still over here. And you can see the layers, the various layers of the, of the paint particles. You can oh. see here it's all piling up. So as I'm changing the focus, we're just going up the drop. You can see it moving around. That's possibly because I've been moving the, the focus quite a bit. And now the last part. Ah, so that's the last part of the drying. What we had was that. What's making this white is the, um, the way that the particles scatter the light. So we started off with that suspension of particles in water. So all we've got left behind are those, those um, latex particles. And if we want to look at that droplet, how it's dried, we're looking at a dried drop of, of paint. 
What excites me about this is that a process that seems so mundane, boring, uninteresting, when you look at it in the right way, it is absolutely fascinating. And that, I guess, is what physics is all about. It's taking all the stuff that happens around us in the real world and trying to understand it and trying to interpret it and, to a certain extent, trying to control it. And I guess that's if the, the fundamental reason I'm most excited by, by, by that is that you've got the most boring thing, or what many people consider the most boring thing, when you look at it in the right way and you think about the physics, becomes unbelievably exciting.